Hi, everyone. Sorry for that. I don't know what happened. I think I lost my Wi-Fi before, so that's why I had to jump off and restart my Wi-Fi. So, hi. Happy Saturday. It's my first scope. Oh, my goodness. Um, thanks for joining. Um, I'll be checking the comments and the questions later, so if I can't multitask, great. Forgive me. Give me some grace. Um, today, I wanted to share with you my DIY praise binder that I made. Um, I found this binder at Target. It's a seven by nine size binder. It's, it's where all the stationary stuff is, where all the other binders are. Um, it's not in the dollar spot. I didn't find it there. I found it at Target in the binder section, in the office supply section. Um, it was $3.99, super cheap. I bought two of them. Uh, one, this pattern that I want to use for my praise binder. Another one I'm probably going to use with some clear pockets in there to store stickers, stamps, and tags, stuff like that. Just kind of like a catch-all for some of my supplies. But I love how it turned out so far, and I can't wait to show you guys the pages. I've been busy making background pages and hole punching and putting things in and just so I have an open slate, tons of pages in here to create when I want to create. Um, just so you know, I'm a really spontaneous creative person. I hardly plan my stuff. I never plan my stuff. The most I do is pick the colors. Um, I'm a color person. Um, if some of you noticed on Instagram or on Facebook, I love lots of color. Um, so what I like doing is choosing the colors first, what I want to work with either whether it's paint or ink sprays or markers or watercolors, whatever. And then I kind of read stuff. I read my Bible. I read devotions online. I watch a podcast from one of my favorite churches, Elevation. Um, or actually, I read some of my favorite Christian books. And I get some ideas. I write them down in a little journal I have. And then later on, when I really feel like creating, I pick some colors and I just go to town. I'm a spontaneous crafter. That's how I work. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go through it page by page and just show you how I put it together. Um, it's pretty fat, so it's pretty chunky right now, and that's okay. Um, here we go, first page. Um, I used one of these clear pockets, and what I did for this is I just slid in half of a 9 by 12 watercolor size paper. What I usually do when I make my background pages, I tear out the 9 by 12 papers out of a pad, and I make the whole design on the whole 9 by 12 paper. And I just choose my colors, whatever. I just go to town and I play and I have fun. Um, I let them dry. And then when they're all dry, what I do is I take my paper trimmer that we all have somewhere. And what I do is I cut each sheet in half. And voila, two pages. Awesome. Um, on some of these pages, they are double-sided. Some of them are not. Some of them I have painted both sides. Some of them I haven't. And that's for a specific purpose. Uh, what I want to do is leave a lot of the back sides blank in here. Just so when I'm really feeling inspired and I want to pull out those paints or those watercolors, I have some white surfaces to work with right in the binder. So they're not all pre-done. Um, so anyway, this is my cover page. I put a plastic in a plastic pocket just for fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm just kind of putting it all together and it's been really fun. So here we go. Uh, second page again. Uh, I've made this using acrylic paints and some ink sprays and one of my favorite stencils ever. It's by Stencil Girl Products and it's called Deconstructed Floral and it's by Tracy Batista. And they have it available at the Stencil Girl website. And it's an amazing stencil. It's so pretty. I just absolutely love it. Um, I can't wait to make more pages with this stencil right here. Um, these are some of the pages I did just the other day. Again, 9 by 12 pages of watercolor paper. And what I did is I just ink sprayed and I swished on some acrylic paint, brushed it aside with, some, with a credit card, let it dry, cut it in half. I know it has these little tab things here, but I don't really care. It looks kind of grungy and messy and fun. So I just hole punched them and I put them in my binder. I think it looks awesome. Um, again, a blank page just for when I want to create and do something fun. These are the flowers I made the other day. I saw this on at the Studio Calico Instagram page. And they, they had a video on there. And um, one of the girls from Studio Calico was showing how she makes these cool watercolor flowers. I thought they were cool. And so I just kind of pulled out my watercolors right away and I tried it. They're kind of messy. I'm not too happy with the leaves. But, oh well, you know what? Hey, <laughs> I still think the colors are great. And I'm going to probably incorporate this into a Bible journaling page at some point. I just loved it. Uh, so let me keep turning here. This is my, basically it's my divider page for my Sing His Praise. And basically this is like the worship section of my DIY praise binder. And what I'm going to do is just kind of focus on worship songs, worship music. And what I'm going to do is create some pages from that. Um, I made this page, it came together really quick actually. I had the Pure Joy 5x7 card. 
um, washi taped it in, added some jelly, jelly printed papers here and there, punched a circle, uh, added some stickers, used one of my tags with a cool little fabric paper clip, done. It's so easy. Um, I, like I said, I really don't plan anything. I just kind of grab whatever I see and throw it down. It works for me. Um, I know not everybody can create that way. I know a lot of people like to create basically with a plan and they plan their pages. I'm not like that at all. I'm not a planner. Don't do it that way. When I make art, I just kind of just grab what I see, grab the colors that speak with me, and I just create. I'm a messy crafter, so yeah, that's me. Um, some of these tags are the ones I made also. Again, I used a whole big sheet of watercolor paper, mishmash some paint on it. These were pinks and golds let it dry and then with a marker I just wrote love 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 all across the page took me forever let it dry and then what I did is I just cut it all up in strips folded it over and made little tabs super easy um, it was really fun and you can do so much with different colors and paints and it's stencils it's amazing what you guys can create so pull out your supplies and just play um, here's another page here's another page again just some splotched up stencils um, this one is basically just credit card, just basically, I usually dribble the paint right on the page. I just go dribble, dribble, dribble. And then what I, and then what I do is I just use the credit card, just swish down, smush down, add some stencils, done. Easy and fun. Uh, again, a white page. This is the one I just did the other day, actually, yellow and orange and reds. Um, the flowers are actually made with a Donna Downey foam stamp. I bought this from her, oh God, years ago. Um, one of my favorite stamps, actually. It's pretty big, and it's a foam stamp, which basically you just apply acrylic paint with a brush to the designs, and then you just press down on your paper. It's really fun, super easy, and I love the results. Um, I also have some just plain note paper in here just to write notes in and stuff. Again, a scribbly page, just some pink paint with, an, with a credit card smushed on a watercolor page. Um, and some fun, messy circles. Easy, super cool. Again, yeah, Annabelle Cheap Acrylics, for sure. Uh, you don't need expensive products, for sure. I have some Dilutions. I have some Liquitex stuff. But honestly, I have a, a pretty big selection of acrylic paints. And whenever I feel like going to Michael's and grabbing a pink or grabbing a green that I don't have, hey, it's only a buck or two. So, yeah, definitely use use your cheap paints. Hey, they work. Um Again, here's that Donna Downey, uh, this actually, I'm sorry, this isn't a Donna Downey um, foam stamp. This is actually a Prima stencil that I bought many years ago. And again, it's one of my favorites. It's kind of like a mask where you put the plastic flower down and then you spray ink around it and then you lift up. Super cool effect and I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, do, you, do I water down the acrylics for these pages? Nope, I sure don't. Nope, I just use a little bit of acrylic, dab it on the page, smush it down with a credit card. It works. Um, this is the other page. Again, that deconstructed floral stencil by Tracy Batista. Um, love it. I just love it. I just love it. I can't get enough of it. I'm going to overuse it, I know. So you'll probably see it in everything. Um, these divider pages are made of heavy cardstock. Um, and what they are are actually the Simple Stories Basics pages. Uh, you know, they fit in their snap binders and in their snap albums. I had a stash of these, and I pulled them out for this binder, and they really work for a divider pages. You know, they stick out a little more than some of the other pages, which are great for dividers. Um, all I did, again... What did I do? I just stapled a tab on the top, found some stickers in my stash, made a cute little tab. I don't have the stencil out right now, sorry. Um, what it is, it's in my stash right now and I'd have to go hunt for it, but I definitely will show you guys um, on a later scope or on an Instagram post. Um, just go to Stencil Girl Products, look for her online, and then do a search for um, by artist, Tracy Batista, B-A-U-T-I-S-T-A, and you'll be able to find that deconstructed floral stencil. It's beautiful. So again, some more pages. I'm going to start going quick because this will take me forever because I have a ton of pages in here. Um, but these are all ready to go. And I have some more note paper. And again, blue and white and messy and fun. Um ready to go, ready to do my Bible journaling, ready to make a page when God speaks to me about something I really want to share or something that I've really learned from God's Word. They're blank pages. They're ready to go. All I have to do is add some journaling, some stickers, some stamps, some painting, and they're good to go. Um, I can't wait to share this for you as a, with you guys as the binder evolves. Again, deconstructed floral stencil. Love it.
Um, anyway, let me just go through this again. Here's another page. Again, same stencil. Forgive me. Um, again, same stencil. Forgive me. Um, here we go. Here's that Donna Dowdy foam stamp stencil, that, again, that I love. Really fun. Um, the yellow and orange. Love it. I love yellow and orange and red. It To me, it just breathes summer. And summer's around the corner, and we live in Florida, and I don't mind the heat at all. So, hey, bring it on. Uh, so, summertime colors, yes, please. Um, some more note paper. Another divider page. Another red, yellow, and orange page. Again, these were using that those Prima masks that I had, and I just kind of, what I did is I just kind of put them down, spritzed, and then with the top of that mask, it's all covered in red ink. And what I do is I flip it down onto the page, pat, 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 lift it up, and there you go. It's all red and, and pretty. And then I just let it dry. I, sometimes I dab it with a little paper towel just, just to make it dry a little bit faster. But I love the effects. It's kind of messy and grungy and fun. Um, this was using a, a specific butterfly stencil I have. This, these are the ones I just did the other day, actually. I just shared them on Instagram the other day. Um, I made a big page of this, and then I cut it in half, and then I hole punched the sides. Um, what I did is I did the borders around and just ballpoint pen. I just kind of messy, kind of outlined the flowers. Um, I'm not a perfectionist. Oh, my God. I don't care if I'm outside the lines. I don't care if it's perfect. I don't plan anything. Uh, that's how I create. Um, here's another page. Fun. Some more pages. Fun. I kind of kind of tried to intersperse the oranges and the blues kind of all throughout the binder. Um, sorry if this is wiggling so much, but God, I'm holding it with one hand and trying to scope on the other. So bear with me. Um, here's another um, design I did. It's basically just paints, ink sprays, some white acrylic paint with my fingertip. Just put some white paint on your fingertip and just kind of make some messy circles. Make some messy circles and have fun with your fingers. Let it dry. And then with a ballpoint pen, just do that. Make it messy and fun. It's super easy. Um, here's that deconstructed floral stencil again. Love. Um, these are the Heidi Swap resist pages that I worked on just yesterday. Um, I had a bunch of these in my stash. 12 by 12s. Really nice papers. What I did is I cut them to 6 by 6 and then I got out my ink sprays, spritz, 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 spritzed, wiped them off with a baby wipe, and this is the result. They dry super fast. The color stays. They're gorgeous. So what I did for my praise binder is I just attached these papers with some washi tape um, on the top and the bottom. And then on the flip side, I did the same thing with another design. Super easy, instant color, ready to go. Um... Here's another deconstructed floral page. You can tell I love that stencil. Um, these are the messy white circles that were showing right at the beginning of my binder. Ta-da! That's the second half of the page. And this is this one. Yay! Um, this page is actually from the Ashley Goldberg Paint Plan Play class that I took with Studio Calico last year. Great class. Uh, she shared a lot about making designs with paints using colors. It, I learned a lot. And what I did is I made a bunch of pages using this color scheme. It was basically pink, green, black, and blue. And I just used those four paints and I just kind of made a bunch of shapes on a bunch of papers, let them dry, Adds, added some marks with mark making with just a Sharpie, let it dry. And then what I did is I cut up those papers into different sizes to be used at a later date. I rarely throw anything away. So there we go. That's what I did. I pulled out some of those and I just kind of washi taped them in. I love the pattern and this is going to make a real fun page. Butterflies. Florals. This is the Heidi Swap Resist paper. Again, I used some green and blue ink sprays. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Wiped it off with a baby wipe. This is the result. It's instant color. I just love it. Here's another pattern. This is another page. This is using that mask. And as you can see, what I had done is basically what I did is I just spritz, spritz, spritz some ink, lifted it up, and this the flowers were white. Everything else turned red and orange. It was fun. It was super easy. I will be showing you how I do this kind of stuff at later scopes. Today I just kind of wanted to hold the phone. Uh, show you something that you could be inspired by, show you that making a praise binder like this isn't hard. 
you can use any kind of binder. It doesn't have to be a fancy Target binder. It could be just a cheap school supply binder. It could be eight and a half by 11 size. It doesn't matter. You could use plain white cardstock in it. Um, you could buy a cheap binder, use plain white cardstock, punch the holes, and then just have fun with stencils and paints and make it your own. So easy. Make your own tabs and you can make your own praise binder. Um, I just couldn't afford some of the ones that were being offered lately online. I just can't afford to buy all the supplies out there. Oh my God, I go broke. Um, so I decided to make my own. So yay. And this way I have more money to spend on color and fun supplies. Yay. So here we go. This is a Heidi Swap Resist page. This is just a doodle page, again, with those white messy circles. Super fun, super easy. Again, just splotch down some paint, some inks. Make some circles with your fingertips with white acrylic paint. Not hard. Let it dry. And then just outline with a ballpoint pen. Super, super easy, super fun. Again, there's another um, stenciled page here. And this one is an Ashley Goldberg-inspired uh, page that I did when I took her class. Loved it. Again, another Ashley Goldberg page, ready to go. And these are just some watercolor wash pages that I made. These were really fun to make and super easy. Um, I will show you how to do these. Actually, these are pretty easy. These are just basically paints, watercolors, super fun. You just mix and match a bunch of different colors and just wait for, wait for it to dry and see what it looks like. That's what I did. Um, I kind of like the results. It's really messy. There's no really rhyme or reason to it. But man, this is going to look really pretty dressed up, so I can't wait. Again, deconstructed floral stencil. For this one, I didn't use inks. For this one, I used acrylic paints. And what I did is I used a flat stencil brush, and I just kind of dabbed the acrylic paint around the stencil, and this was the result. Um, I love that stencil. It's one of my favorites. I'll say it again. Um, here's some Heidi Swap Resist papers. Another Heidi Swap Resist paper, stenciled and masked. Deconstructed floral stencil. Tracy Batista, you are going to sell a ton of these. Oh my God. It's such a beautiful stencil. Everyone should have it. Um, Heidi Swap Resist Papers. Another Heidi Swap Resist Paper. I just plopped them in with, with washi. Easy. Um, here's another page. It's kind of the pinks and the blues and the purples. It's kind of soft. I kind of like that. Um, here's another purpley with some butterflies. And this is one of the ha the other half of that uh, page I just did yesterday. I uh, just cut it in half, and I just outlined the flowers and popped it in here. Super easy. Um, and it's ready to go. Like, I can't wait for all this to be done. I can't wait for me to start adding Bible verses and cute little embellishments, um, some alphabet stickers, some stamps on these. Um, I can't wait to, like, draw some black lines just with a pen and then just write what God tells me on my heart. I can't wait. Um, it's ready to go. You have a book ready to go. Um, instant color. So take some time. Play with your supplies. Um, play with your acrylics, your watercolors, your pencil crayons, your watercolor crayons, your watercolor paints, markers, whatever you're using to add color to your pages. You don't need every supply out there. You just need to take some time and play and have fun. And another big deal is don't compare. Best advice I ever got, don't compare your work with others. Oh my God, you'll go crazy. Just make stuff, look at it. If you like the color combination, keep going, keep going. What I like doesn't have to be what you like and vice versa. Make this your own. That's, that's the key part. Make it your own. Don't be in competition with other people. Oh my God, it'll kill you every time. You'll just always feel lesser then, so don't do that. Here's another one. Again, another cool little uh, masking stencil that I bought. I think this one was like a six by six little mask stencil that I got from Crafters Workshop. And basically, yeah, all I did was plop it down and I sprayed some ink on it. Boom, done. I used another stencil here and then I used another stencil here. And I just, usually what I do is just play. I, I put the stencil down, spritz, spritz, spritz. And then when I take it off, that top of that stencil is just covered with ink and messy and wet. So what I do is I flip it over and then I do it right here, and I go pat, 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 pat with a paper towel, lift up, and now you have two different images. You don't want to waste anything, girls, so hey, use it. Um, have a, another white piece of paper here if you have to, and then just start using it. Don't, don't waste anything. Um, these are more of those DIY Simple Stories Basics pages that I purchased for the Snap Albums. Um, I did have to kind of realign the punches a little bit just so it'll fit this binder, but that's okay. Hey, it works. Um, it's super heavy cardstock, and I really love these. 
Um, and then at the end of my praise binder, I just have more of these clear pocket pages. They open from the top. And what they do, they sell these at Target actually by the little binders. They're, I think they're by Avery. And they sell packs of these pocket pages. And they also sell packs of these note papers, these lined papers. They sell them. Not that expensive actually. So it's really easy to put your own binder together. Um, as you can see, it's already pretty full. Ta da! It's already pretty full, but I love it. I'm going to be adding all kinds of little fun little elements to all these pages. I'm, I'm going to try to make them really fun and kind of having a lot of texture to them, you know? Like uh, like this page is one of my favorite. It's my divider page for my pr Sing His Praise, for my um, worship section of my binder. And I just love all the little elements on here. I love the little hole punch thing that, you know, most, a lot of people would just toss in the garbage. But, hey, I used it because I like the pink. Um, this little heart was from Freckled Fawn that I ordered. And I love these little cool little sequined hearts. And all I did was, like, staple it on the page. Super easy. Um, the tags, I am going to definitely scope how I do the tags. They're super easy. Again, just inks, paints, um, sprays, let dry. I outlined, I outlined the around the tag. What I did is I outlined that just with a Le Pen or a thin Sharpie marker. And then I just used some stamps and I basically stamped the word faith with ink. Super easy. Um, and then, yeah, I just put it all in with washi tape. So it doesn't have to be hard, girls. It doesn't have to be hard. Um, like I say right here, you can do this. You really can do this. Um, so that's my praise binder. It's really fun. I'm glad I did it. Um, it's my own, you know. I can look at this and say, hey, I made this from start to finish. And I love it so far. Right now I'm doing all the base pages and getting them all ready to go. But soon I'm going to be actually working in here and making some really cool and inspiring Bible journaling pages in here. So I can't wait. Um, another thing I did want to show you is my Talking with God little mini art journal that I put together. And that's what I've been using lately. Um, and what I use for the covers is just like these little acrylic, these hard acrylic, basically, panels, I guess. They're six by six. And so what I did is I basically cut up a lot of my background designs into six by six squares. That's what I did. And then I punched them with two holes on the sides, added binder rings, ta-da! It's a cute little art journal, and it's really fun. Um, I've been using this now for the last, I don't know, month or two. And I really like how it's coming together. Um, I basically just do lines on the white side of the page to share a Bible verse. And then what I do is, basically what I do is I illustrate and I design my Bible journaling on this page. And I just kind of journal and share what's on my heart based on the scripture that I've read. Um, love it. It's super simple, super, super easy. Um, and again, I don't really, I don't plan any of this in advance. I just... See where God leads me that day. I read something, and then I kind of write notes to myself, and then I think, okay, I'm going to do a page on that. And then I just pull out a few little minimal supplies, and I get to work. It's really nice having all these background pages done ahead of time, um, so you're not pulling out, like, 20 million supplies every time you sit down and make something. Um, so it's really fun. I would encourage you guys, you know, if you have plain watercolor paper or even just plain white cardstock, get a bunch of sheets out. And go to town and make a bunch of background pages. You'll be so happy you have them. Um, here's another one I did. This one's empty still. Haven't made anything on that one yet, but I will. This one's empty, and I will. Another empty one. This is one I did, I don't know, probably a few weeks ago. Um, I love the colors. I love the orange and the pink together. I think that's such a great combination. Love it. Um, another empty page. Another empty page. This one I just did. Um, loved it. Some more roses. Another one. Another one. Just did this boat. Probably last week I did this one. That one was fun. Some more empty pages. Empty pages. Ready to go. They're ready to go. Um, this is what I, I used one of the um, Illustrated Faith stamp sets for this. And... Basically, I just stamped the word lean there. I made some lines to journal on. And I just talked about what was on my heart. Doesn't have to be hard, girls. It really doesn't. Take time in the word and just listen to what God's trying to speak to you. Again, more illustrated faith stamps. 
some more pages. This is the one I just did a few days ago. Just added some washi tape to the page, some alphabet stickers, a few other little embellishments. Done. Um, here's another one. Some other blank pages in here that I haven't even started using yet, but I will, definitely. I want to be able to fill this thing up. Um, and there's the binder rings are so large. I think they're about two-inch binder rings, so there's plenty of room for even more pages if I want to add. Um, and these are all empty, and they're ready to go. They're just ready to go. So I encourage you guys, pull out your supplies, get busy. Um, make some cool art, and then share them with the rest of us. Um, I am going to be scoping more. Um, I like doing this. I do. Right now, for me, this is just showing you things, so I can hold the phone with one hand and show you with the other one. Um, but honestly, when I'm making things, I'm going to want to have both hands free. So my hubby and I still have to kind of figure out where I want to put the tripod. Right now, it's on the table um, looking down. The problem is it sees everything sideways, which I don't like because you guys are going to want to see things this way. So I have to try to figure out where to put the tripod um, so I can still figure it out. So I'm going to wait. Hubby's not home right now, so I'm going to wait till he gets home. And then what I'm going to do is try to set it up in a way where the tripod can be on the floor behind me, looking like kind of over my shoulder. So you see what I'm seeing while I create. Otherwise, you'll see it kind of sideways from the top on the side of my table, which actually is okay, I guess. But whatever. I'm just venting now. So don't mind me. Give me grace. But anyway, here we go. That was my DIY binder. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Get busy. Make your own background pages. Put your own binder together and make some cool things. Make some really cool Bible journaling pages. It doesn't all have to be in your Bible. Um, I do have a journaling Bibles. I do use them. I do decorate them. But I actually love using just plain pieces of paper more. Um, I, it's more freeing. It, it's not as limited. You don't have to worry about bleed through. The pages aren't as thin. Um, I like doing it this way. Um, so there we go. So that was it. That was my first scope. Oh my God. Thank you guys for joining me. I know it was long. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun and I'll do it again soon. Okay. Thanks guys. And I will look at all your comments and all your questions and stuff later. I just was really concentrating on showing you every little piece of this binder today. So I, I'm sorry if I did not respond to you in a timely manner. I will try and get better, but love, love you all so much. Thanks for all your support on Instagram, Facebook, on my blog. I really appreciate it. Um, I love Bible journaling. I did take I did take a break for about a year last year just because of a couple surgeries I had. But I'm back and I love, I just love illustrating what God is teaching me. So I hope you'll join me and yeah, have a great weekend. Have a happy Saturday wherever you are. Bye guys.